guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a miniature pencil. So here is the miniature pencil when you are done making it. So here's the eraser and the little metal part that attaches the eraser, the wood body, and the lead on the end. So, um, so you can actually write and erase with this. So there you can see I just wrote with it and you can erase with it and stuff. Anyway, um, the things you will need for this miniature are a sharpened pencil and you want it to be about that sharp so it cuts cleanly. A toothpick. A eraser piece or you can cut a little piece off from the end of your eraser on the pencil. Next you'll need a piece of aluminum foil, a knife, make sure you have adult supervision to use this, heavy duty scissors, and also it's really nice when it has this little curve right there and it makes it a lot easier to cut. White glue. A paint kit or some paints. And also if there are if there is a paintbrush in there already, that's fine, but if there isn't, go ahead and grab a paintbrush. So the first step is to take your scissors and so before actually before I cut I am going to show you just kind of where to line it so you so you don't have to do this at home but just measure out a centimeter to cut so I'll just show you guys where to cut so you can just get a feeling for it. So you want, you want it to be about like that, if you can see those lines on camera. So I don't need this anymore. And you're going to cut, so you're going to get back here as far as you can and cut on those, on back here, right about here. And make sure your piece doesn't fly away so that's just right. Okay, so the next step is to take the pencil and you are going to cut it. But since this knife is really sharp, I'm going to have my mom do it. So I'll take the camera in a second. But um, before I do that, you can tear a little piece of tape. And you can put it behind here. So the next step is to cut a thin strip of aluminum foil. So um, I am going to skip ahead. So now this is what your little aluminum strip should look like. And now you are gonna measure. So you should have just, you just need enough to just wrap around like that. So. I'm going to cut right there, just at the part where it ends. And it should look, look like that. And you can kind of fiddle around with these end pieces to get it until how you want. But 
um, save that for later. So I'm gonna put this in our little pile of stuff. So the next step is to glue everything together. So you also wanna be really careful about this because if you mess it up, you could accidentally maybe lose your piece. So I am going to first glue my little um, lead piece on. So open this up first and clear the excess glue off and there it goes. Okay, so you just want to, I found out that if you squeeze a bit and then just kinda, and then just kinda like, I don't know what you would call that, but um, kinda place it on top of it, it will get it just the amount you want. Then you are going to carefully attach this piece to the glue, so. That should do it. Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. And then you are going to do the same for the eraser. Hold on, this glue is a little empty. There we go. Okay. I'll, I'll kind of work with this for a bit, and then I'll be back in 10 minutes when it is dry. Okay, I am back, and it's just been a little over 10 minutes, and as you can see, it's dry, so when I touch it, it doesn't move around. So that's a good science dry. So the next step is to take your little piece of tin foil and you're going to put your finger on one end and start and hold it there for a second and start wrapping it around. So once you're all the way almost wrapped around, you just want to put a tiny bit of glue right on that edge piece. Or right on the end piece. There we go. I probably put a little too much, but that's okay. That'll kind of help it stay in place. Hold on. Then the very last step is to get some water and put some, make sure it's not too wet, and put some water in your yellow, or if you don't, if it's not watercolor, then you don't need to do that, but get some, anyway, get some on your brush. Just not too much, but just enough to cover the tips, and then just kind of go over it a little. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have finished painting all the sides of the pen miniature pencil yellow. So you should probably wait a second before picking your pencil up because it might leave your fingers yellow. And anyway, this is your finished miniature. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or leave a like, and I will be posting more videos of miniature tutorials and science experiments and other random stuff. And I will also leave a link in the description below for my blog, which has my miniature tutorials on it just in case you don't want to watch the video you can just read it anyway thanks for watching bye